So today we're going to talk about how to fly a circuit and have a casual discussion about what the circuit pattern is, how to fly it, and some tips and tricks for people that are learning. All right, so let's start with the first leg of the circuit. Sweet, upwind. So, upwind, correct. Yes. So we'll call this a left circuit pattern. Yep. Okay, you're on the um, runway and the tower has just cleared you for takeoff. Sweet. What's the aircraft configuration? What aircraft are you flying? Sweet, so we've got the Cessna 172S. Correct. And um, for a normal takeoff, 10 degrees flaps. So cool. I'll uh, have 10 degrees uh, flaps selected. And okay. then essentially from there, I'll uh, check the runway's clear, and then I'll uh, taxi out, make sure my lights are on, yep. move on to the runway center line, and yep. then I'll uh, take a good good look at the uh, wind sock, see what the wind's doing. Nice. Yep. I'll point my ailerons in the wind. Yep. There's a crosswind. Yep. 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 Um, and then from there, I'm just going to go over my T's and P's, or oils and temp or temperature and oils. Temperature and pressures. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Getting, getting around there. Um, and then... Um, and then, yeah, from there, I'll essentially advance the throttle to 100%. Yep. Um, and then, essentially, what I'm looking for is um, uh, that we reach static RPM between 2300 and 2400. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then I'll have a, another look at my T's and P's, make sure they're all in the green. And yep. then, um, um, essentially, once we get to about... Get rolling. Yeah, get rolling. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I'll hit uh, 55 knots in the Cessna 172, and that's our rotate speed, so I'll pull um, the control column rearwards, controlled fashion, yep. and um, and yeah, we'll essentially lift, lift off the ground. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, so lift off the ground, um, once we're off the ground, pick a point out in the distance yep. to track towards, aim it towards the centre of your body, start tracking there. Yep. At about 250 feet, making sure that we've clear obstacles. Yep, um, degrees. We're above 60 knots. Yep. Um, we'll retract the flaps. Flaps up, yep. And what's the magic thing we've got to do after that? Sweet, we need a trim. We need a trim. We need a trim. <laughs> You'll hear the word trim forever. Lots of trim. <laughs> Lots of trim. Yeah. Lots of trim and flying's easy. Flying's easy, yes. <laughs> so it transitions to a best rate of climb. Yep. Uh, for us, it's about 74 knots. and Straight up there. Straight up there. Yep. All right, so you're approaching, you're approaching your uh, crosswind turn. Yep, so All 500 right. feet. So yeah, 500 feet, just below, just before 500, we'll have a nice look out. Yep, so we'll check from uh, outside of the turn to inside of the turn. Yep. Um, making sure we look for traffic, and then uh, we'll commence the turn onto our next leg, which is uh, the crosswind leg. Absolutely. And a good little tip there, what we normally do as well, is just pick a point maybe uh, 90 degrees. So if you're doing a left circuit on your left shoulder, just have a look, pick a point there, somewhere where you can turn the aircraft to roll onto. Yep. And um, once, we're, once we're also on the upwind leg, something that we did, didn't mention as well, have a quick look outside if you have a back window. Some aircraft <laughs> don't. Yeah. But just to see if you're tracking along that centre line. Yeah, sweet. So once we get onto that, uh, that crosswind, we're essentially making our way back up, well, up to 1,000 feet yep. above ground level. And then um, um, and from there, we'll um, attitude power trim. So bring the attitude down so we can fly straight and level. Yep. Um, um, reduce the throttle back to adjust the power, the power setting, and yep. then trim. Trim. Plenty of trim. Trim. <laughs> good. Good. A couple of things though as well on crosswind. Um, spacing. Spacing yep. is important just to make sure that you are, you are perpendicular to the runway. Yeah. Spacing is good with the runway. Yep. And also what will happen is because we're taking off into a headwind, if the headwind is quite strong, you get a tendency to get pushed back towards the runway. Yeah. So just yep. adjusting. Just, just moving that nose into wind a little bit more to adjust for that drift. Exactly. Yeah. Nice, nice. And then as you perfectly mentioned, set your attitude yep. back again to about four fingers, bring your power back, yep. about 2200 RPM. Yeah. And um, trim. Trim. Making a medium level turn onto downwind. Downwind, the next part. So. Downwind, the next part. Yeah. Downwind, as the name suggests, means the uh, wind is behind you. So. There's a strong wind behind you, you're going to get pushed pretty quickly. So this leg can be quite a quick leg at the circuit. Yeah. So we've turned downwind. Yep. And we're established on downwind. We've picked a point. Yep. Out in the distance and we're now tracking towards that point. Yep. Right. Power settings are good. You know, we've got about 2200 RPM. Perfect. And we're not getting completely blown down the downwind leg. Sweet. So now what? So from there, we're going to make our radio call. Yep. Good. So 
get onto Tower, let them know what our intentions are. Yep. Um, we'll do that. Yep. And then from there. And also, if you obviously we're at the Gold Coast Airport to control the aerodrome, so we, um, we give the tower a radio call and just let them know what our position is and our intentions in the circuit um, every time we do one. Whereas, um, provided that we're practicing circuit patterns, yeah, yeah. not yep. during the course of normal transiting. Um, but if you're out uh, doing this at a country aerodrome or a non-controlled aerodrome, obviously the radio call still exists. It's just for traffic awareness, just to let traffic know who you are, where you are, what your intentions are. And then we'll um, start our uh, downwind checks. Yeah, downwind checks or before landing checks. Yep. Um, bit of a funny mnemonic there. Yep. Um, it, it ranges, but bumfish is, yep. is, a, is, a, is the mnemonic that's easy to remember. So it's brakes, brakes are off and operating, so the pipe yep. brakes off. Yep. Um, also, there's a bit of sponginess in the brakes there, so they're working. Yep. Undercarriages down. It's yep. pretty easy for a, <laughs> for a fixed, suit. For a fixed, <laughs> yeah, fixed undercarriage. Yep. Um, yep. And also mixture. Yep. Mixture. So, yep, making sure we've got uh, the mixture is rich. Yep. Yep. Next step is fuel. Yeah, so, so your fuel selectors. Yep. So they're on both, both tanks. The tank that's got the most fuel. Yep. Instruments. Um, Yep. Making so sure that the... Um, we've got plenty of fuel yeah, in, sure in the fuel. tanks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah sweet. Um, and then from there, uh, we've got instruments. So we'll come up and we'll have a look at T's and P's again. Yep. Uh, make sure they're all in the green. Um, and then S stands for switches. So we'll make sure that the magnetos are on both. Yep. Um, and then H, which is for hatches and harnesses. Everyone's got their seatbelt on and... Um, they should. Yeah, they should already. Yeah. <laughs> they, should, they should, yeah. And the hatches are, are closed. So, yeah. yeah. Essentially, that's uh, your pre-landing checklist done. Hatches and harnesses are secure. Beautiful. Yeah. Cool. So, now we're beating the threshold. We've just had a look. Our speed is below 110. Yep. Okay. Talk me through that. Sweet. Um, at that position, uh, that's when we'll lower 10 degrees flaps. Yep. In preparation for the landing. So, um, yeah, and that pretty much sets us up for the next stage. Uh, once we um, reach um, uh, the point past the threshold where we can look back and it's at 45 degrees, yep. um, that's, that's when we'll make our turn onto, onto base. Correct. Yeah. Correct. That's when we'll make our turn onto base. So 45 degrees to the threshold, start our turn. Yep. Um, before we start a turn, we might need to reduce that power a little bit. Definitely. Obviously, from day to day, it changes. But let's just say, on average, we'll call it 1,500, 1,700 RPM. Yep. Um, and then make our turn. Yep. During the turn, what are we going to do? Sweet. We're going to conduct a lookout before the turn. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and during the turn, uh, we'll apply our second stage of flaps. So Good. 20 degrees flaps. Yep. And what speed do we have to be below? We're going to make sure that we're under 85 knots. That's the one. This is all about relevant to a Cessna 172, so yeah. your aircraft may be a little bit different, but I think the idea sort of, um, for, for, for a light GA aircraft, the idea sort of remains the same. Yeah, cool. Cool. All right, so we've made the turn. Yep. We're all, everything's looking good. We're starting now to lower the nose as yep. we're going into the descent on the base leg. All right. Talk to me about some factors. How, what, what's a good base leg look like? So, uh, halfway through your base leg, you want to be around 750 feet. Yep. Um, round about there, and then you want to be have half sky, half ground. Yeah. yeah, that's essentially what you're looking for. Okay, that's outside. Is that outside the cockpit window? Yeah, looking window? outside the cockpit window. Cool. Yeah, half yeah. ground, half sky, and if you set half ground, half sky, that should correlate with what airspeed? About 70 knots ish. Yeah. Yep. 70 knots. Good. That's pretty much what we're looking for. Yeah. Perfect. So you've got that set. You've got 70 knots there. You're now descending. Yep. You're having a good look over your left shoulder. Yep. And what are you looking for? Well, I'm, I'm looking for that point where I'm ready to turn to <laughs> yeah. final. It's good, it's good, it's good. Yeah. You're also looking for spacing, good yep. spacing. Yep. Okay. Um, so on the downwind leg, the spacing should be uh, about half a wing strut. If you're yep. looking over your shoulder, it should be half a wing strut for the runway. reason why we do that is if anything goes wrong in the circuit, if um, obviously it's very unlikely, but if an engine failure occurs, you want to be in gliding distance to be able to glide straight to the to the, to the runway, definitely, which we practice all the time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, on base as well, you want to have make sure that you haven't been completely um, yeah. you know, blown away. Exactly. By the wind. Yeah. So making sure and adjusting for drift. Yeah, definitely adjusting for drift. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, don't want to get blown away. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, and I guess on that point as well, it's a good point in time to make sure you've got enough spacing between the aircraft in front of you as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, adjusting your airspeed accordingly and... and uh, it's good airmanship. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, generally halfway during the... Um, the base leg at about 750 feet or 800 feet. It's a good opportunity just to have a look at how you're sitting. Are you too high, are you too low, are you too fast or too slow as well? Yeah, definitely. Cool. All right, we're turning on to final now. Sweet. We're not going below 500 feet, AGL, per CASA rules. Yep. And we're turning on to final leg. Yep. The exciting one where we're getting ready for the approach. Yep. Talk me through that. Sweet. So we'll conduct a turn onto the final and then yep. from there, Look out first. Look yeah. out. Yeah, absolutely. Look out. Said that. Yeah. yeah, we do it before every turn. Yeah, it's yeah. just second nature now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then from there, we're uh, making our way down to uh, the runway. So we yep. use the acronym AAA or AAA, depending on how you want to say it. But um, it is aim point, aspect, airspeed. So Correct. Correct. So what you want to do with that is your aim point. And four fingers to the threshold. Yeah, four fingers generally works. About yeah. one third of the, the windscreen. Yeah. Something like that. Yep. yep. Um, and then your aspect. So, do you want to tell us about aspect? Yeah, I can tell you. I can elaborate <laughs> explain on that. it better than I do. How I always explain it to you in the plane. But yeah. The aspect. You're looking at is, is the runway looking too, um, too wide and low, or is it looking really long and thin? It's kind of a good indicator of how you know whether you're too high or you're too low. Yep. There's a very nice way you want the runway to look. It's a little bit hard to explain here, yeah. but you're looking to see if that aspect is correct. Yep. Okay, and that should tell you whether you're on approach or not, on a good profile for approach. The other thing you want to do is look outside at other things around you as well. People tend to get fixated just on the runway, yep. and that kind of um, can affect, affect the way you judge the aspect. So yeah. have a look all the way around and see how, how that runway is looking relative to everything around you. Yep. Once you do it a few times, that aspect becomes second nature and you, you get a good idea of it. Yeah, cool. I agree, yeah. Yeah, sweet. And then essentially... Airspeed. Airspeed. So we're looking at between 65 and 70 knots. Yep. Um, for your um, feet final. Um, and then essentially, yeah, it's just making your way down, um, maintaining your AAA yep. all the way down. Yeah, um, I think when you say 65 and 70, it's probably better to say 70 and 65 because yeah. 70 down yep. and 65 sort of short final, just over yep. the threshold there. Yeah, yeah. And then from there, you'll uh, as soon as you get to the threshold, uh, you bring your reduce your throttle yep. uh, to um, to oil, and then from there, um, we'll make our way nice and slowly down to, <laughs> down to the runway by um, slowly pulling back on the control column and essentially we'll just... Setting the landing attitude. Yeah, landing holding attitude. Holding it there. Exactly. So slowly bring in the uh, fingers, going from three to two to one to none, <laughs> up to the end of the, the runway. Yep. And then um, if you can manage that, uh, you should have a very, very soft landing. That's right. Yeah. And if it's not soft, probably means you need to add a little bit of power there to soften, soften the landing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good mate. A couple of other things I'll, I'll throw in as well. Yep. Um, Obviously, the last wind windsock check, Absolutely, just to yep. make sure that the windsock is blowing down the runway, so yep. you're on the right runway. Yep. Um, obviously, out of control, the aerodrome is a little bit different. We have guidance for that. But if we're out, I mean, if you're out, sort of flying into a rural aerodrome or somewhere that doesn't have a control tower, yeah. always, always, always double check. Regardless, always double check the windsock. You always do that, no matter what. Uh, on final, um, predominantly the main reason being as well is crosswind. So you yep. may have flown, crosswind may have come in, so being prepared for what to do in that, in that landing flare, being ahead of the aircraft. You're also checking to see the runway's clear, yep. there's nothing there. Um, the aircraft before you just hasn't had a flat tire. Yep. Pretty unfortunate, yep. it happens. If, um, if you're in controlled airspace, you're also gonna make sure you've got your clearance to land. <laughs> that's right. That's a pretty key point. <laughs> that's right. Yep. Cool. And you spoke about that, um, the landing. Uh, yeah, the landing's an interesting one. Obviously, you're coming in. Yep. Waiting for that sink to happen, seeing you know everything around you and your peripheral vision getting higher and higher and higher. Yep. Then transitioning to that landing attitude over the threshold and slowly reducing your power back. Yep. Yep. And if you've done it properly, your passengers will know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <That's right. laughs> or in my case, your instructor will know. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs>
Obviously, guys, we're having a bit of a casual conversation about the uh, circuit pattern here. So if we remember anything additionally, we'll make sure we throw it in the comments. Yep. But, um, yeah, cool. Yeah. So, like, share, all that sort of stuff. All that good stuff. Yeah, all yeah. that good stuff. Yep. Cool. And if you've got any questions for us, please let us know. Um, as we mentioned from our first video, it's all about sharing ideas, continuous improvement making the aviation space safer and better. So if there's things that you want to include as well or you want to, ideas, opinions you want to share or things that you would like us to do, please let us know and we'll see if we can do that for you to help out. Sweet. Cool. Awesome. All right, that's Thanks, done. <laughs>